Hello friends, welcome again. So now we have seen window functions and we have covered it in great detail. Now I feel the best way to further enhance our knowledge is solving some interview problems which are medium to hard category. Easy ones is of, I mean, something we, we can do very easily. So we will look at some medium to hard kind of window questions, right, which can help us out. So let us see this first question here. And this is about biggest window between visits. So I have the question here. If you see biggest window between visits, you can see this. Now, what does the problem say? This table does not have a primary key. It might contain duplicate rows. Okay. There is no primary key. This table contain logs of dates that user visited a certain retailer, right? And assume today's date is 1st January 2021. Write a solution that will for each user ID. User ID is this one. Find out largest window of days between each visit and one right after it. Right? And return the result table ordered by user ID. And it is also saying, uh, I mean, if you, you see this, find out the largest window of days between each visit and the one right after it or today if you are considering the last visit right because someone who has uh, let's say went on 8th July 2024 and they have not visited the store till now that means consider till today right so you see this is the kind of input data the name of the table is user visits and the user id one user would have visited let's say uh, in Bangalore Phoenix mall is there right so let's say this user is me, right? Sumit is the, this user and Sumit visited the Phoenix mall on 28th of November, 2020. Then Sumit visited on 20th of, uh, uh, what is it? October, 2020. So this idly should have come up. So it is not ordered also, right? So first I visited on 20th October, then 28th November, and then uh, 3rd of December. So if you see between 20th and 28th of 20th, October, 28th, November, there is a period of, I think around uh, 37 days, something like that. And then from 20th, November till 3rd, December, it is hardly five, six days. And from 3rd, December till today, today means this date uh, is again 27 or 28 days, whatever. So the first user ID has maximum days 39, right? The biggest window, right? In between this 39 days, this person never visited that place again, right? Kind of the biggest window. For second, we will get it. And for third, we will get it. I hope this makes sense, right? So you see this explanation for the first user, the window in questions are between dates 20th October till 28th November, 39 days. 28th November and 3rd December, 5 days. 3rd December and 1st January, 29 days. Making the biggest window is 39. Right? So user ID 1, biggest window, 39 days. For the second user, the window in questions are dates between, uh, if you see this, uh, 5, 10, 2020. That means you see this 5, 10 and 9, 12. What's this? Total 65 days. Right? 65 days total. And then when does this person visited last was 9 December. So 9 December till today, 23 days for last 23 days, this person has not visited. So longest window is 65 days, right? For the third user, for the third user, the only window, I mean, this person just visited on this date till now he has not visited. That means uh, we will compare it with to uh, 1st January 2021, total 51 days. So we will print that. I hope this is clear. So how do we approach this problem? So you can see uh, this is the input. The input is this user visits table. I'll write it here. Okay. Now we will take a very step by step approach. Right. From this table, from this table, first we should think about how to get this. That means what I will do, I will basically uh, group by user ID. That means partition by user ID, I will apply a window function 
I'll do partition by user ID, order by visit date, and then I will. What I will do? I will use a. You you can see what I have done. I have used basically a lead function, right? I have used a lead function. So you see, uh, we are getting the next detail, next visit date, right? Using this lead function, we will get the next visit date. So you can see this, and for this. I mean, since this was last time, so today's date, right? How do we get this? First of all, we have to think of this. How do we get this? We are taking a very step-by-step -step approach. So, what we can do? We can say select, select, right? I'll increase the font slightly. So, given this as input, you want this as the output. How do you get it? Select user ID. comma visit date visit date comma what else i want i want next visit date also and i will get it using a window function so i can say lead lead of visit date right lead visit date uh, over partition by partition by user id right for each user i want to do that right separately partition by user id order by visit date by default the earliest date will be at the top and the last date will be at the bottom right we are doing that and now this can happen that okay uh, when you are talking about this last date this will give me null because there won't be anything so what i can say first of all i can say i want just the next row right i am doing lead right i i am just explicitly saying i want the next row even if i do not give it it would have considered one only right it gives the next row and after that i also want to say that okay if next row does not contain anything it's null then you have to treat which day as the next day 2021 01 and 1 this day i hope this is clear and i will say as next visit date next visit date i hope this makes sense from which table from which table name of table is user visits from user visits so let me just run this and see whether it gives me the output which i was expecting or not i i know this is not my final output but i am taking a step by step approach in order to solve this problem Where is this run button? So let us see. So you can see user ID, the first visit date and the next visit date, and then this visit date and next visit date, visit date and the next visit date. Same way for second. So you can see it. We have done partition by user ID, so that for each user it is doing separately the same thing. and then we have ordered by visit date right and we are using a lead function so that we get the next row so you see what is this next one right what is this the next one right i hope this is clear and what is this there was nothing so we have defined it that if this next is null then give me this please right so we have at least get some got some intermediate results now next what we want to get what we want to get next what we want to get next is now given given this as the input now given this as the input i can easily calculate the difference of dates this date minus this date is the window i mean date difference right how how much is the time i mean between this time person has not visited the store right so we have to subtract this we have to do the date difference how do we do that how are we going to do that for this i can create a cte now right this becomes my intermediate this thing right i can create a cte so let me just show you that so i have this i can say with cte 1 as right with cte1 as i can just say this okay comma 
then i can use ct even as if it's a table now and this table would have this kind of a data okay now what i can do i can say uh ct let, let me define ct2 for this whatever i am writing no worries ct2 as right as or or let me just write it first of all select user id i am not defining a ct i am just using the ct1 select user id comma uh, what do i need i need date diff how do i get the date diff you remember there was a function called as date diff date diff in mysql in other databases it would be different that's fine but this is the function given in mysql and i have to give the two dates next what was it next visit date and visit date next visit date comma visit date i hope this is clear as what as date diff as date diff from cte1 right from cte1 that's it let me try running this and see oh i have to remove the comma of course because i am not giving the next cte so let us see this what it is giving us i know the answer will not be the one but you can see we are getting for first uh, 39 i mean one of the window is 39 size another window 5 another 29 like that so we are getting this particular answer right this this answer we are getting 39 5 29 65 23 51 all of this we are getting now next what we have to do what we have to do next now what we can do is we we need to basically do a uh, we can basically do a ranking now right we can do a ranking isn't it or i mean directly don't you feel uh, without doing a rank we can direct, since we need just top what we can do we can group by user id and find the max let's do that that's very easy now so whatever this was let me create this as cte2 so comma uh, cte2 you could give more relevant names cte2 as right as uh, select this i am just putting it as they diff from ct1 okay now what i will say uh, i can say select user id comma max date diff from cte2 group by user id as simple as that that means group by user id that means for each user id i will have now one row and where i will get maximum date which is 39 and now this i have to give a different name right if you see this what i wanted as a name is biggest window so i can say as biggest window right i hope this is clear just have a look this should work this should work let me try running this and this should be the answer actually if there is any issues we will see it i am running this and this should accept the solution you see this is now working right this has worked and we have solved this particular problem but you see how cte's makes our life easy and how window functions makes our life easy now you you, you see we are applying various concepts together now this is medium to hard kind of problem just to let you know right but seems very very easy now we could have if we have done it using cts we could have done using sub queries also right i mean uh, sub queries make it look tough and it's not that maintainable but let me show you how to do the same using sub query using sub query so what i will do initially uh, where we were like uh, what i can do is uh whatever we did as part of first cte right this one i'll take this 
and this forms my base uh, where is that right and this will give me what this will basically give me this whatever i have written this i will get through this right just have a look what it is now next what do we want on this we want the date difference we want this difference right we want this difference we want this right so we will take this query we will take this query and what we will do now we will start writing at top of it right outer query select select user id comma user id comma date diff earlier we have written it as ct now i am writing like this date diff and in date diff what i have to say uh, i can say this is my next visit date and i have visit date also so next one minute next visit date comma visit date right this i am defining as date diff and uh, as date diff from this table from and this consider it as your inner table and you give it some uh, alias let's say see because uh, anything from or join whenever you are using a sub query we should give a alias so now what i am trying to get i am trying to get a date diff like this let's see whether this works so this is through a sub query i am doing this so you can see this i am getting the date diff isn't it this i am getting now next was i want to group it based on user id and uh, find the max of date diff that means i have to use a group by i could use it here only right i can use group by group by user id and uh, select user id is here only so now i have to give it as a aggregation function now right i can just do a max on this max max of this fine and now this i have to give alias as biggest window this is our final answer so i mean number of lines of code will be less now but the structure i mean for if you are a beginner in sql it might look little hard to interpret this will work same way as the earlier thing and this should be the final answer you can see this right so you you see this code is using uh, our sub queries and this is the code with cte's i personally like cte's because that's a very uh, top to bottom approach right step by step approach and it becomes easy for you to interpret when you see it later but now if you see this later you might have to read it two times right i hope this is clear so fine we are done with this session and in our next session we will see another lead code hard problem as part of this windows right so with this i'll end the recording hope you liked it thanks a lot